If you are trying to set up paid products or sell items through the high level platform, you've come to the right place. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps that you need to set up your Stripe integration, to create products and utilize them in your funnel. Let's go ahead and dive in. are logged into the Go High Level platform and we have navigated to the drop down for the sub account that you would like to set up your payments or your products inside. You can also navigate to the agency view, click on settings and click on the payments button to be able to check or connect your Stripe integration. However, you can do this individual integration on a specific account by going exactly back where we were to our integrations tab in the specific sub account that you would like to sell through. So we're going to go down and we'll see this Stripe integration option. So I've already connected my Stripe account. If I were to connect my Stripe account, it's going to ask me for my Stripe keys, which you can find on your Stripe dashboard. I'm inside of my Stripe account right now, and there are two places you will need to navigate in order to get the credentials that High Level is asking for. Once you're logged in, you are going to navigate to the Developers tab, which at this present time is up here at the top right. However, that could change in the future, so simply look for Developers. Then you're going to navigate to the API Keys tab. The publishable key is the first key it will ask for. The second is the secret key. You'll click to reveal, copy that, plug it in, and hit connect. And then you should see this same type of view that looks like our Stripe account is connected. In order to sell through High Level, you then need to set up products. So we will navigate to the funnels and websites or the websites tab in that new dashboard view. So again, anywhere that we can find funnels, websites, that's where you will go. So I will simply go and create a product. And if I navigate to products, you can see that I have two products already created. So if I go over here to booking a call, I do not have products created. But in order to actually use those products, I would need that two-step order form element inside of my funnel. So I'm going to click on products. We are going to select first is this subscription one-time or payment plan. So if this is a one-time payment, this is a pretty simple process. You're going to give it a name, price, currency, and then the price display override. It is not required. As you can see, they give you an example and then a description. So if this is a membership offer, that would be a membership within high level. So the system knows this is for the membership. If this is an order bump, which would mean that you're purchasing the initial product, but hey, I've got a little click box to say, hey, bump up my order, which I'll show you an example of that in just a second, we would turn this toggle on. If it is a subscription, then this is something that you would also need to have created in Stripe. So right here we see this Stripe plan and it is a required field. You've got to set up that subscription inside of Stripe before you can actually connect a subscription inside of High Level. So again, that would be for an ongoing recurring payment. If this is a payment plan, we would also need that Stripe plan. All of the other options are the same other than authorized card. So the authorized card would be to ensure that there is funds available for that specific payment outside of this initial payment, or maybe it's a trial offer, but you do want to make sure that they have the funds to be able to actually move forward after that trial um, if your terms and conditions allow it. So once we go back over to our product page, I'll show you what it looks like with an order bump. So this is our order bump product. So if I click on that, it's adding my $17 order bump. So I'll show you how this is actually set up. We've got our two-step order form. And when I click on advanced, 
it's already going to be enabled for the product on that page. So if I want to add the order bump, first turn on enable order bump, click add, and then we will edit exactly what we want it to say inside. So we can find that two-step order form element by clicking on orange square with that plus sign, clicking on two-step order, and now we see the default. So mine is a little bit different, and that's just because I have simply edited the different options within that advanced tab. So let's say I wanna have more than one product for sale on any given page. I'm gonna click on that button, we'll do one time. We'll call this test, $100, and then we're simply going to select our currency and hit save. Now, if I navigate back to my page with my two-step order form, I'll simply see a drop-down of exactly what I have set up as main products. So they will not automatically be charged for both products, but it is going to exist within the same two-step order form and then you are going to have the option of that order bump as well. So if you want to make sure there's only one item to purchase on any given page, you would need to have separate funnel pages for those products with separate two-step order forms. After that, you're good to go, test it out. You should be able to start accepting payments directly through High Level for physical products, for memberships, or digital products as well. If you've really enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about High Level, Facebook and Instagram ads, content marketing, or small business marketing tips, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It really helps us out.